Atentos, en el siguiente video desde el CIDEF 2025 en Lima, se presenta la renovación integral de la Marina de Guerra del Perú en alianza con el astillero surcoreano HD Hyundai y CIMA Perú. Se muestran los proyectos en curso, una fragata de última generación basada en la clase Changnam, equipada con avanzados radares, misiles y capacidad antisubmarina. Un moderno patrullero oceánico OPV, con hangar para helicóptero y módulos de misión. Y el LCU, embarcación de desembarco para transporte de tropas y carga pesada. Finalmente, se revela el acuerdo para desarrollar submarinos HD-1500 de tecnología avanzada con propulsión independiente de aire. Hi, we're at Sea Dev 2025 in Lima, Peru, where South Korean shipbuilder HD Hyundai has a major presence as they are involved with the renewal of pretty much the entire Peruvian Navy fleet. This renewal is uh, illustrated by that big poster uh, behind us. I am now with uh, Mr. Choi, sales team leader at uh, HD HHI. Mr. Choi, good afternoon, great to see you. Yeah, great to see you, great afternoon, Xavier. So currently you are uh, building and designing uh, many vessels in uh, collaboration with SIMA uh, Peru, the national shipbuilder. Can you tell us currently how many ships you are building uh, as the first phase of the project? First of all, thank you very much for your interview. And uh, HHI awarded the vessels from the Peruvian Navy totally four. One is a frigate and one is OPB and two Balog is a landing dock. And now we are starting to the design and some of the ship is starting to the construction. Yes. And today uh, you sign an important agreement regarding uh, submarines, but uh, we will discuss this in, uh, in details uh, later on. You have a very nice uh, model about the frigate. So this is the display of the future Peruvian Navy frigate. It's a really nice design. It is based off the Chengnam class, which is also known as the FFX Batch 3 yes. for the Rock Navy, which uh, HD Hyundai successfully uh, built and actually delivered uh, late last year. Uh, can you please tell us about uh, this frigate, uh, starting with its main specifications. Yes, uh, thank you very much. And uh, first of all, as I emphasize to do, uh, HHAI is build is more than uh, uh, more than ten vessels uh, build is for the frigate for Arcan Navy, and also this model is uh, for the export model. And I think this is a very personal ship is equipped with uh, multifunction data fixed type in Latam area. And also this design is also proven by uh, HHI delivered Miguel, Mal Miguel Malbar in Philippine Navy, also ROK Navy, uh, Chungnam class. Is, uh, I would like to do, explain to the more specific. First thing is I saying again is the pixel radar is equipped. This radar uh, tra tracking the more than 100 targets and the 100, more than 100 kilometers we can searching. And move to the top side, the, we equip to the electric warfare system. Uh, ESM and also something like that. IL, uh, two ILST is also equipped on mast. And move to the uh, down, uh, you can see the uh, two uh, 2D uh, searching radar is equipped on uh, uh, above of the fixed radar, and the two navigation radar S and X band is equipped. And move back uh, to the tracking radar, and also EOSS is applied on this system. And also for the anti submarine is the whole mount sonar is equipped on bow area and move back to the stern area. The variable depth sonar system is equipped on stern area. And change to the weapon system. The main gun is 76 millimeters gun is equipped. And the VLS system is totally 25 cells is equipped for the SAM, surface to air missile. And uh, uh, 12.7 RCWS is equipped for both sides, uh, swab and port side. And uh, 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 torpedo uh, launcher system is uh, totally six round is uh, uh, equipped with the uh, RCS screen uh, to minimize the RCS uh, radar cross section. And two liquid boat is also uh, located on both sides. Finally, uh, you can see the, the SSAM equipped the four round one set is totally two set means totally eight uh, for the top of the hangar uh, second gun is equipped the 40 millimeter guns um, finally uh, the the helicopter is the middle size of helicopters we can operate it and have the on one hangar 
And finally, I explained to you the, the machinery of the proposal. Uh, so this system is CODAD, combined diesel and uh, diesel system, and uh, two shaft and uh, control uh, pitch propeller. Yeah, that's all. So indeed, uh, impressive array of uh, advanced sensor and weapon systems. Mm -hmm. uh, this will bring uh, true uh, multi-role capabilities to the yes. Peruvian Navy. Anti-air, anti-surface, anti-submarine warfare, electronic warfare. Yes. Uh, and it's really, it will be a very advanced uh, frigate. Uh, can you lastly share with us the basic uh, specification, displacement and length? Yes, uh, this model uh, HDF 3600 is covered length from the 120 to the 130. Uh, the actual length is uh, depend on the uh, end user, if you want that. And also the width is uh, around uh, about 60 meter, and tonnage is uh, uh, same as the uh, uh, model name is 3,600 tons. Yeah, and the maximum speed is more than 26 knots, and cruising speed is 15 knots. Mr. Shog, we're now near the standing next to the model of the uh, OPV, the future OPV for the Peruvian Navy. Yep. This design, a similar design, has already been selected by another Navy. Is that, is that right? Yes, uh, this model is a very uh, popular and steady seller model in our company. Uh, this vessel also chosen by the Philippine Navy is uh, uh, we are uh, uh, producing on construction is six vessels for Philippine Navy. So what are the main uh, specification, uh, the, the displacement and length? Yeah, the displacement is a 2020 model and also the width, uh, length of uh, is uh, about 95 meters. And this uh, vessel equipped with the main gun and uh, RCWS weapons. And also EW and the Takan and the, uh, two, uh, 2D search radar and the navigation radar is applied on uh, master. And tracking radar also is equipped. Uh, finally, uh, this vessel also uh, equipped the uh, heli deck uh, with uh, uh, operating with a uh, middle-sized uh, helicopter and one hangar, and two rigid boat is report is uh, uh, equipped the both side and starboard side. Uh, finally, I emphasize to that is uh, mission module is equipped under the heli deck. If some uh, end user wanted to the some of mission module uh, containerized type. We can keep it on that, and it can be expanded the capability. Yeah. <laughs> Lastly, Mr. Choi, uh, this is the model of the uh, LCU landing craft uh, utility, uh, also uh, currently under production at SEMA uh, Peru. Uh, can you tell us uh, more about this LCU? Okay, this model is HDL or uh, 1,400 model. Is uh, this capability for cargo is more than 250 uh, square meters is equipped. Uh, that means is uh, more than 21 container is we can shift on on time or uh, LA will lightweight uh, attack or vehicle is uh, more than eight vehicle or uh, the large trucking is uh, poor trucking is uh, we can equip and this uh, propulsion system is CISO single input single output and the two engine is applied. Yeah. Can you briefly tell us the status of uh, each uh, project? The frigate, you finished the design, well, whereas these two, you started the production because uh, we saw blocks at uh, CIMA in Peru when I visited the uh, CIMA. As we know, that is, uh, we are strategic partner with the CIMA in Peru. Peru. Uh, some of the vessel is already starting to the construction, means uh, the, uh, this vessel name is Balog in Peruvian Navy. Balog and the OPV starting to the construction and the pre-get is uh, still uh, designed, but uh, soon the design is uh, completed and we are moving to the next uh, step for the construction. Very well, Mr. Choi, thank you so much. Thank you. Lastly, in addition to the surface ships, uh, the agreement uh, between HDHHI and SIMA uh, Peru is also about submarines. To find out more, we are now meeting with uh, DK Kim, He's the director of the Peruvian Submarine Project. Uh, DK Kim is also a former submarine commander with the ROC Navy. DK, great to see you again. Good to see you, yeah. So what can you tell us about uh, this submarine for uh, the Peruvian Navy? Uh, one of the biggest character of this HDS 15 uh, is a uh, high technology in the world, uh, which can replace any other mid-class submarines. 
uh, after the COVID-19, there was a very uh, dumped uh, in the submarine markets. So it was not easy to find out the new models. However, uh, with our powerful supply chain and our own technology, we can design uh, this uh, middle class submarine. And today we got a con uh, MOA with the Peruvian CIMA and also we got a statement of AIP, which is a kind of the certification from Netherlands DMV. You know, that is a, a reason how we can get a proven uh, design and technology within this middle summary in HDS 15 double O. Very well, DK, thank you very much. Thank you. Somos Perú Visión Sudamérica. Estoy a la espera de tus comentarios. Si te ha gustado este video dale like, compártelo con tus amigos y familiares, activa la campana de notificaciones para no perderte ningún video y sé parte de esta gran comunidad peruana. Nos vemos.